Today is Cesar Chavez Day, a federal holiday honoring the birthday of the American civil rights and labor leader. Chavez would have turned 94 today. He died at the age of 66 in 1993. As we speak, First Lady Jill Biden is in California honoring him. Oscar Sanchez is a retired vice president for the United Steelworkers, and he once worked with Chavez and joins us now to talk about his legacy. Oscar, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us, Dan, and thank you for recognizing Cesar Chavez Service Day. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about your memories of uh, being alongside him in the fight. Well, Cesar was very passionate about uh, farm workers and the rights and the rights of working families in general. And he was determined to do it on, on, in nonviolent, a nonviolent way. He was very passionate about that. He believed in it. He believed that if we, if we did violence with violence, we'd lose a moral high ground. And he was absolutely correct in that in that matter. And he was a very passionate ind individual. And how is his legacy still felt today when it comes to uh, the American labor movement? Well, I think that his memory lives uh, in, in unions and in working families. And uh, farm workers today continue to suffer the injustices of of losing wages and uh, and you know just being able to live a good life, uh, I do work also with farm workers in Ohio and uh, North Carolina with the Farm Labor Organizing Committee, and they continue to have problems. But uh, with the a strong union, they're able to have the rights protected. I know we don't often spend nearly enough time thinking about where our food comes from, but for so many farm workers, exactly. it's not just about wages, it's also about living conditions, right? Yes, uh, definitely living conditions are sometimes horrible. Uh, the good thing is that under a union contract, we're able to protect them and to make sure that they don't have the bed bugs, that make sure that they have running water, that uh, they have a, a nice warm place where they can sleep and, uh, and continue to maintain uh, their families. Uh, it's still a, a, a major struggle but it's something that can be done. Organized labor certainly has deep roots here in Chicago, you know, back to the uh, Pullman rail car factories on the city's south yeah. side. Uh, the issues, though, have changed over the years, and I wonder, so has union membership. It's declining in many, in many locations, and I just wonder whether or not you think, um, w when it comes to unions as a whole, uh, the issues have changed and perhaps are, are less appealing in some categories. Well, the issues are, are have haven't changed. Uh, what has changed in in 2021 is that we have an administration finally that is family friendly and that is uh, worker uh, friendly. And so we hope to because workers have always wanted to organize, but the companies really have some very vicious, uh, malicious campaigns. And so now, hopefully, the workers will be better protected. From, the, from being fired, from being uh, abused. And so I think that, that the issues are gonna be much better uh, from, from here on. Oscar Sanchez remembering Cesar Chavez. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, sir. Dina? Coming up tomorrow, a new website.